Since the last time we spoke about Chrissy Teigen, a lot more has happened. More atrocious old tweets of hers have been exposed where she attacked countless other celebrities and she's been dropped by a number of brands because of it. I'm Mackenzie and let's get into this update, but first make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new here. In the last video, I mostly spoke of Chrissy's terrible tweets and private DMs to Courtney Stodden where Teigen told them to take their own life, along with other horrible statements. But since those tweets have been exposed, other horrible tweets of Chrissy have resurfaced. To give a quick summary of some of the worst tweets, in 2013 she attacked teen mom star Farrah Abraham on multiple occasions, tweeting quote, Farrah Abraham now thinks she's pregnant from her adult tape. In other news, you're a and everyone hates you. Whoops, not another news story. This was referring to the tape that Farrah made with adult film star James Dean at that time. After fans called out Chrissy for slut shaming Farrah, she doubled down on her words and accused Farrah of leaking the tape herself, as well as paying paparazzi to make sure they took a picture of her buying a pregnancy test after the tape. And the wording of these tweets were incredibly harsh. Another slew of terrible tweets was directed at child actor Quansane Wallace. During the 2013 Oscars, where Wallace was nominated, Chrissy tweeted out, quote, is it okay to call a small child cocky? Adding later, quote, I am forced to like Ponzanay Wallace because she's a child, right? Okay, fine. Wallace is currently 17 years old, but she was only nine when Chrissy tweeted these things. But that's not all. Chrissy actually decided to body shame Mariah Carey after she announced that she was pregnant with twins. Writing, quote, why is anyone surprised Mariah is having twins? I was always pretty positive there were two to 15 babies growing inside of her. Lastly, Chrissy took aim at singer Avril Lavigne and tweeted out in 2011, quote, if you told me I could have one kid, but it would be exactly like Avril, I would choose to have a bare and sterile existence that ends when I die. Then after she said watching Avril was the second most painful thing she had watched that day. And trust me, there were so many more tweets that we actually have two top 10 lists on her tweets if you wanna check those out. After more and more of these terrible tweets started to resurface, brands that worked with Tegan decided to drop her. The first brand to cut ties was Bloomingdale's, as well as their parent company, Macy's. After the tweets about Courtney Stein were revealed, Macy's decided to take a stand and cut Tegan from their establishment. And they ended up dropping Tegan's cravings by Chrissy Cookware Line. Other establishment, Bloomingdale's was actually only hours away from signing a massive deal with Chrissy, where Chrissy was going to be hosting a promotional event for the store. But that deal was cut after the allegations against Tegan resurfaced from Stodding. The next retailer to take a stand was Target, although there is some back and forth about what actually happened here. Following the Courtney Stodding scandal, it was reported that Target had also dropped her cravings line. However, Target reps later stated that Target dropped Chrissy in December of 2020, and the timing of everything is purely a coincidence. Target's rep confirmed this to Fox Business, saying, quote, we made the mutual decision in December to no longer carry the cookware line. Given our continued focus on brands we develop, and that can only be found at Target, the memo stated. So thankfully, after all of these terrible tweets, Chrissy is finally facing repercussions for her actions. Since the scandal, Chrissy has been silent on all her social media accounts and shows no sign of coming back. And considering this is one of the many huge scandals Chrissy has been involved in over the last few years, I don't think her comeback will be well received. That's all for the update guys, but before I go, I'm gonna shout out some comments from celebrities that warned us about Chrissy Teigen part two. And make sure to check that out if you haven't already. Carly said, instead of calling this series celebrities who tried to warn us about Chrissy, it should be called every time Chrissy has caused problems for no reason. That is exactly right. Honestly, I feel like these scandals against her wouldn't be as bad if there was like mutual beef between these people. Like, you know, if celebrities wanna fight, no one really cares. But when it's so one-sided, it's like, what is wrong with you? And CL rarely said, yikes, she's really not nice. What caused her to be like this? Not saying it would excuse it because she was literally attacking people for nothing, but it would be interesting to know. I completely agree. Like, what is the reason? I know she said in her apology that it was because of insecurity. And I do probably think that is the case. Like she was attacking these people because they were bigger and better stars than her. But still, like people have insecurities and they don't tweet out to attack them. It's very, very strange. Then Michelle said, Chrissy Teigen probably doesn't even see herself as a bully which is sad and disgusting. Her apologies don't even seem like real apologies. She's been caught out and exposed and she probably thinks saying sorry will fix everything and make it go away. Unfortunately, I think that is true. I think she just thinks apologies will make it go away. Uh, no, I don't think that's gonna fly this time. It'll be definitely interesting to see how the public does react to her coming back. Cause I feel like every time she leaves Twitter and come back, it's not actually a good reaction. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. All right guys, that's all for the video today. Thank you so much for sticking around if you made it all the way here. If you liked the video and wanna see some more, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith. Make sure to check us out on social media. I will catch you all in the next one.